So we got another story about a pit bull that was shot. And of course, another media outlet telling the story as if the dog is the victim and the dog is innocent. It did nothing. And that somebody shot it for kicks. On six tonight, a South Florida man says, says that someone shot his dog and unfortunately the dog had to get one of its legs amputated. And he now wants the person responsible held accountable. Nico Clement spoke with that pet owner today, joins us live now from Miami with the exclusive interview, Nico. Look, you too, he's crushed. It's his dog and you know, his dog is very much part of the family, but his concern is if they shot his dog. Listen, the dog is not related to them. It's not related to anyone. That's a fact. For what he believes was no reason, what would stop them from shooting another animal or a person? If it shot the pit bull, then what would stop that person from shooting another animal or a person? Okay, well, people hunt. And when they hunt, they kill other animals. They could go on to kill people as well. But we're not making that assumption. Huh? We're not trying to connect those dots because they're not killing dogs. So let's move on. It's senseless, you know, it's just senseless. We don't know if this shooting was senseless because the person that shot it could have shot it in self-defense. This is just a fact. You are not there. This dog could have tried to attack them. Ronald Green keeps replaying the frantic phone call he got from his neighbor. His dog was shot in Southwest Miami-Dade. I said, so he got a phone call, so he was not there at the time. So he doesn't even know what happened. What do you mean shot? Say, yeah, shot, uh, gunfire. This is Green's dog, Snowball. You can already tell there was some irresponsibility, even based on dog standards on the dog owner's part. How did somebody have access to your dog to shoot it? Sounds like your dog was outside while you were not even there, right? He says when his neighbor called him two weeks ago, he was hoping it was a mistake. She was whining, you know, and everything. And then she was like, you know, her leg was limped. She couldn't move it. Here's where the bullet hit Snowball in her left leg. Green rushed his dog to the Animal Emergency Clinic of South Florida. Sure enough, they treated her for a gunshot wound. Green says they gave him three options because the bullet shattered the bone. Amputate the leg, put her to sleep, you know, or do some major surgery. He chose to amputate Snowball's leg. Terrible, you know, it's just horrible, a gunshot, and she's not even a vicious dog. He said it's not even a vicious dog. Again, we don't know what happened. This dog could have tried to attack that person and they shot it in self-defense. The law allows us to do that. Y'all not going to just keep packaging these stories as cases of dog abuse where people shot, especially a pit bull of all things. Supposedly, according to you, shot them for no reason. Green says he watched surveillance video from a neighbor's camera. That he watched surveillance video from a neighbor's camera. Y'all hear this? the owner of the dog. To amputate Snowball's leg. Terrible, you know, it's just horrible, a gunshot, and she's not even a vicious dog. Green says he watched surveillance video from a neighbor's camera that shows someone on a scooter circle around to his dog. Someone on a scooter circle around to his dog. So your dog was outside. Outside while you were not there. Was your dog barking? incessantly driving your neighbors crazy is that what was happening generally people just don't go and shoot someone's dog they don't do that especially outside in a just a rural neighborhood like this no i suspect the person that shot this dog was being provoked and driven crazy either by barking or it shot the dog in self-defense. And trying to provoke her, he says you can't see- He said on the video, you can see somebody circle around on a scooter and try to provoke the pit bull. I don't believe that. 
especially somebody with a gun. I definitely don't believe that. If it was a child, toddler, maybe, and even then I wouldn't believe that. They're terrified of these things. And if this is the case, then show us the video. Show us the surveillance footage. They don't show us. The actual shooting in the video. He said, you don't see the actual shooting in the video. So show it to us. If this video shows an unprovoked shooting of a pit bull, but you don't actually see the shooting, that means it's PG-13. To watch surveillance. Show it to us. Video from a neighbor's camera that shows someone on a scooter circle around to his dog and trying to provoke her. He says you can't see the actual shooting in the video, but he says he did see the person put something in their waistband immediately after. Why should we believe you? If you refuse to show us the video, why should we believe your side of the story? If you show us the video, we have to side with you. No video. So we have all the room in the world to assume that you're lying. You're lying now. Why wouldn't I assume that you're lying when we already caught you in a lie? You appear saying that this is not a vicious dog when the truth is you know full well that that dog could attack anyone. You have no idea who that dog will and will not attack. Just like all the other dog lovers in the world. That was a moment of dishonesty from you. So that's the same as being busted in a lie in a courtroom. We can throw your whole testimony out. Green says he wants this person caught. Why did you do it? The dog is not vicious. Again, you don't know that. You know how many people have said that their dog was not vicious after the dog had already attacked someone? Oh, it never shown aggressive. Stop with that. You saying that it's not vicious, it's not proof and it's not evidence in any kind of way that that dog did not try to attack that person. There's no need to pull out a gun. You don't know. How would you know? You wasn't even there. And you're talking about a well-established killer, a pit bull, a bully breed. These things are more established than any other killer in society. Nothing else kills people on a consistent basis that is as well established as dogs. The only thing you can compare them to is like heart attacks. And even if you're not killed, I'm talking also about the people who are badly mutilated. So what are you talking about? Anytime you find these things shot, that's a possible case of self-defense. Shoot a dog. And y'all talking about, oh, shoot a dog. Why would anybody shoot a dog? You're playing dumb. You're so desperate to defend your recklessness and conceal your irresponsibility, really your psychopathic behavior, that you go overboard, scratching your head. Oh, why would anybody shoot a pit bull? Why would anybody shoot the most well-established killer, maimer, in the country? Get out of here with that. I'm not even going to finish this goofy story. This article surfaced yesterday, and I wanted to give the other side to the story.